Now that your film is fully molded, you're ready to get into the final stages, installing ExoShield onto the windshield. If your film is not already formed, go back and watch the previous video, Molding ExoShield. In this video, we're gonna show you how to use the reverse roll method to remove the liner and position your film in the correct orientation on the windshield. The reason we focus on the reverse roll method is because it's the most effective and easiest way to complete the step with one person. It also ensures that there's no contamination getting between the liner and the adhesive during this step. It's important to note that once you've started the reverse roll, you should commit to finishing the installation relatively quickly. Put your phone on silent and get this install finished. So let's check in with Lawrence. He's just finished molding the film and is ready to install it on the windshield. So I cleaned off the top just in case there's any dust from the air that's landed in this while I've been working on it. And I'm just gonna roll it the way it was rolled. Loosen it. Bring it to me. I'm gonna get it a little bit wet so I can slide the film around. I'm gonna flip it upside down so I can get ready to prep the liner. So obviously this is windshield, now that it's upside down, is off center a little bit, which is no big deal. Lay it back out so we can get, prep the liner. Tack it down a little bit so when you're pulling the liner up, if you're not lifting the film off the glass. Okay, so let's get the liner prepped, ready for install. Again, I always start at the bottom. So at this point, now that I've got the liner prepped, I don't mess around. I get the cleaning, the, the last cleaning process done pretty quickly. So now I take my alcohol and water mix, and I'm just gonna get it misted. And it's just a second, alcohol is obviously a very good cleaner, and it just forces me to do a second step of cleaning it off. It's gonna slide on me a little bit, which is good. Um, I want it to. Get as close to lined up as possible. Sometimes it's just difficult to do, but that's lined up pretty good there. So as it rolls across, it's as lined up as possible. So I'm gonna get my edges lined up. I wanna be overhanging the hair up top. Okay, got it lined up, film's laying down. I'm overhanging the top edge hair. So again, really overlap your strokes, put some pressure, especially here in the center of the windshield because that's where we humans always miss. And I'm gonna start from the middle and I'm gonna squeegee straight down a couple strokes and then straight up. And I'm gonna keep doing that, working my way, really overlapping the blade uh, as to where you squeegee. You wanna make sure you're not leaving any water at all as you're squeegeeing. Take your time. It's, it's you're putting medium pressure and squeegeeing kind of slow, just making sure you're uh, being really thorough and overlapping yourself. I'll do that 
um, until I get pretty, at least halfway to, to the side, and then I'll start squeezing straight towards myself with the front of the blade facing me um, and work my way down. Then I'll go to the opposite side and do the same thing. After you've done the first squeegee, you'll, most of the time we still have little fingers that pop up along the bottom, maybe on the sides, um, maybe a couple on top, depending on the windshield and, and, and how far we uh, molded it down. Um, I'm not worried about those fingers at this point. Right now, the first thing I'm worried about is making sure I got all the water out, but now I'm gonna clean the outside of the uh, film off and uh, check to see if I've got any contamination that I've got to get to. This is the best time to get rid of any contamination that might have gotten in there. Um, it's also best is to get into, sit down in the driver's side and look through uh, the glass. That's when you'll notice where you did not get a good squeegee through. Once you're confident you got everything out if you needed to, uh, and you're ready to do the second squeegee, where you wet the film down and do your second squeegee. I start from about almost all the way to the top and I'm just going straight down all the way. Um, I'm putting a little, quite a bit of muscle into it and, and slow and just being putting some pressure, a lot of pressure, making sure I'm getting everything out. I'll even go back and do it a third time many times. When I get to the fingers with this big heavy blade, I really slow myself down. I don't like to jam through it. If you get little bubbles, little air pockets that are kind of on either side of a finger because you've moved the finger, you wanna make sure you get those out as soon as possible because they, they will start drying and they get stuck. Now it's time for us to get the paper towel, hard card, or heat gun ready to get down any little fingers that we might have up. So we're always gonna approach the Fingers that might be on the top and on the sides first before we get the bottom, just because of the way uh, contamination falls. And I'll give a finger three chances. I'll push with the hard card through it first. Put heat wherever that finger was. If that finger pops it three times, I'll give it three chances. And then after the third chance, if it keeps popping on me, then I'll actually put heat directly on the finger. I don't like to do that right away because you do risk damaging the adhesive and it'll leave marks sometimes. If there's enough soap and water still in there. It's usually safe, but sometimes it's started to dry out and then you add too much heat directly on the open finger and you do, and you leave marks in the adhesive with the heat. If you've been finding contamination in your installs, this is the step you'll want to pay close attention to on your next install. Take your time, be thorough, do one more cleaning of the windshield. It's infinitely easier to deal with contamination prior to the adhesive being exposed. When it comes to the squeegee steps, there's only a few things to keep in mind. Firstly, make sure the film is centered on the windshield. You should only have at most a sixteenth of an inch of exposed glass surrounding the film. Get your film tacked in place before you start long hard passes. You won't want the film to be moving when you've begun squeegeeing. And overlap your strokes to get out as much moisture as possible. This will allow your installation to cure much quicker. 